We're uh, heading over to one of the smaller islands as a burn unit for a couple of our, uh, our guests here. You know, they've been out here cooking in the sun for several days. Uh, hopefully they recover. All right, we're arriving on Key Cocker Island right now. This is where all the uh, partying was going on last night, New Year's Eve. Uh, everybody's still drunk and hungover. I think I'm a little drunk and hungover, to be honest with you. Standing here at the uh, Lazy Lizard. It's sort of the hot spot for the local uh, party crowd and the college kids. And in a, a contest this weekend uh, to find the, the ugliest, fattest person you can get. And, uh, Pretty stiff competition, in my opinion. Uh, this is the local basketball court. They're gonna do uh, White Men Can't Jump 2. They're gonna film this here in uh, 2025. So uh, we're excited about that. These ladies over here, they're, um, they're from the National uh, Bulimia Anonymous Association. They're worried about that their clothes make them look too, um, too big, so they're trying to uh, pack on some pounds, you know, to they don't want to be, um, they just don't want to be too skinny. This is really a problem out here, apparently. Uh, the food is uh, not good. You shouldn't come here. And so, uh, due to the problems that the airliners have had with all the, um, you know, the flights delayed, uh, they decided to leave some of the people on here on the island. The hotels don't have the space for them. The airlines are all going bankrupt and don't have enough money to cover everything. So, this is where the people are staying when the hotels are overbooked. Uh, it's what happens southwest when you cancel 12,000 flights. We're on the way back. We had to do a couple of stops, you know. They had some packages to drop off to some friends, you know. Uh, I don't know, they're pretty big sized bundles. I'm not sure what was in them, but yeah, probably wasn't very legal. Probably another reason to stay down away from this place. You never know which you might be getting involved in. And that and those sunsets are just terrible. You know? I've seen better sunsets in North Dakota. Our captain, he, uh, he recently converted from Judaism to alcoholism. And uh, he really knows how to drive, let me tell you. I mean, you got to talk about it. And a good driver? This guy can drive in any kind of shop you ever imagined. I'm in. Mean, got 70 mile an hour winds, no problem for this guy. All right, uh, day seven here, we're out at, uh, on the dock checking out these uh, beautiful boats. We got Twister over here. And uh, Twister blew up in one of the most recent hurricanes and these guys, uh, you know, they re numbered it so it's totally legal. And then, um, you got Indecency. Now, Indecency's a really good boat. I recommend you guys come out to, um, scuba days to support these guys. Uh, between them they've got about 130 children and about 750 grandchildren. So they're very busy and they need, they need the money. So come out and support them. Uh, they're outstanding tour guides, they really are. Uh, I won't say anything negative about them at all. Uh, because they threatened, to, they threatened to hurt me if I did. So yeah, come here and check it out and go do some scuba diving. Uh, looks like a travesty averted Carlos found some beers for us. We still have this rum shortage, but I can't believe I did that. We're gonna drink some land sharks in the meantime to pass the time.